So I'm actually going to make another video about New Age spirituality because I think that I have a better understanding of uh, some of the messages that the people who believe in that are putting out into the world. And I just want to remind people that as a Christian, I'm not hateful or intolerant. I simply see the world as it actually is. And I think that that's the difference between me and a lot of these other people because they're out there looking at all these terrible things that are happening around me and they're basically saying that there's nothing, there's no evil behind that. And they have like this other explanation for it. They're saying that these people are not at harmony with the universe. These people don't want to be in harmony with the universe and not only that but they're actually trying to prevent us from having harmony so there's like there's there's a motivation behind that and i don't really understand why new age people are refusing to accept that god is his own person so i already know that god is his own person like i know that like <laughs> you know i'm not going to get into how i know that but god has already basically said he is his own person so no person could come along and tell me that he's not when he's already revealed that to me and there's no possible way you're going to say that that didn't happen when i know it happened i know it happened i experienced it he is his own person there i didn't have any control over what happened so let me put it to you like this God, in his own way, reveals that he is his own person with his own agenda that is separate from anything happening with me, or probably the gang stalkers or anything else. So he has already said, I am an intelligence that is separate from you and from everybody else. So he's already revealed that. So nobody's going to come along and say, oh, yeah, you know what? We're all gods and, you know, we have to do this. No, 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 no. Like, if you're going to peddle that idea, you're going to have to peddle it to a person who didn't see the things that I've seen. So not only that, but we have these people. And you're not going to say that these are just misguided souls who need to be healed or something. These people have an agenda that is calculating calculating is about as calculating as the algebra equation i mean they are perfectly calculating in every single thing that they do and you're not going to just be like they need to be healed these people are calculating with an agenda that's just how it actually is that's how it actually is they have an agenda they have a mission we're not talking about a bunch of people who are just wallowing in their misery these people have targeted me and at no point were they ever good, generous, or not selfish. I think that they are basically saying that we are replacing God as, as a unit and we're going to be cruel to the people we want to be cruel to or do what we want to these people and rob them of their free will and make it so that we are high and this, these people are low and we decided we were going to do that. So where was the New Age stuff when I was in my misery? Where was that? Where was all these, these new age people helping me out of my misery? You notice that when we need help, they're nowhere, they're nowhere to be seen. <laughs> like there is no help with them. There's no help. Nobody's going to do anything. You don't even have God. You have, if you don't have God, you're left to the devices of the people out here who believe in this stuff. And let me just say that you will be living off of baloney every day for the rest of your life following these people because they already decided that you don't matter or your happiness doesn't matter. The community of new age people are the ones made that decision. God was the one who got you through it. God was the one that got you through it when all these people were peddling their ideas. Why they had a better deal than you had. And they wanted it to be that way. As I said in other recordings, this is calculating. The people out here, and a lot of them have rejected God, and they probably believe do a stuff just like you do. The people out here have done everything possible to make my life unpleasant, and you're trying to say that they're on a different frequency or whatever. Well, I'm just saying that whatever frequency they're on, they did all this stuff, and they're not trying to get off of that frequency. They're just, they're, that's where they're at. And you're not really explaining why 
they have they feel the need to tear me down which i've proven in every single recording that i've made that they have this need you're the, the new age people cannot defend their belief system i mean when i say they cannot defend it they can't even explain any part of it they can't explain it logically there is literally absolutely no logic in the whole entire belief system there's no logic you guys would not make it one minute in a debate like if I were to debate you, which you would have to if there were the disagreement, you have no defense. I would actually recommend if you wanted to convince people that you made a logical argument that could hold up to scrutiny. I mean, some sort of argument. I'm not saying it has to be perfect. You know, you can argue anything. You can argue against anything. And it just has to make at least some sense. Like you have to be able to apply it to the world. Like you're going to sit back and look at all the stuff going on around with these criminals and stuff and just be like, they're not evil. They're hurt. They're broken. I mean, <laughs> You can't defend that argument. You couldn't even come close to defending it. The point is that the world is what it is. And yes, the world is evil. That's why bad things happen. And it's, 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 it can be understood only if you explain it biblically. I mean, you couldn't even try to explain it by your methods. Like you're saying there's no evil. Well, all the evidence was seen to suggest there's a lot of evil. And that the world is exactly the way it was described. So, I mean, if New Age philosophy is so great and people are adopting it and the people out here have rejected God and this is working out to our advantage because you're saying that we're at one with the universe, why are all these people so crummy? These are not Christians. They're not. And that's just how it is. Like, the people out here <laughs> have this 666 and they're writing 666 everywhere and they're saying, you know, they, how much they hate God and I've actually heard them say it. So we have these gang stalkers basically admitting that they're Satanists, or they rejected God, and they're saying that. They are saying that. The gang stalkers themselves, multiple times, have said that they are Satanists or rejected God, as if they, they believed in them. And the reason why they have this intuition, this, this whatever they're, they're into, the reason why they have that is because they're Satanists. They are saying that themselves. So, if you're going to apply New Age philosophy to that, how are you really explaining that away? Like, how are you explaining that? Like, you're going to go as far as to say, well, you know what, these people are whatever, they're not one with the universe. Do you, these people don't want to be one with the universe, and there's a reason why they don't want that. And the belief system, I've met people who are New Age people in this community, and I know they are New Age people. They had the crystals, they had everything that you got, dude. And I would just say that these people are out there and I'm not, and they're in the community and I don't really know, like if I'm not gonna go as far as to say they're evil people, but I don't really know why we don't get a better world with all these people out there who are into that. Like we're not getting a better world because they're out there. And even with them, even with them, I would try my best to just explain that you have to accept the reality of this situation. There's more to it than these people not being one with God. As I said, as far as just my experiences, well, I definitely know that there is some sort of higher intelligence at work. Like, I can't force people to believe it's God. I mean, so... I'm just saying, like, the community... My point is that the community itself is reaffirming biblical teachings. So all my life experience would say that there is. That that's what it is. I mean, that's what life is saying. That's what life is saying. The gang stalkers are saying it. Uh, every experience I had in life is saying it, including the supernatural experiences. They're saying it too. Even the angels are saying it. Jesus said it. Who is really not saying it? I mean, we have a couple of people who are like, well, you know, we have this Buddhist slash pseudo Christian slash a occult belief system that is going to explain everything away except it's not explaining everything as way it's not even trying to explain anything away i mean if you're going to explain it away you're going to have to explain why these people are so horrible and why they're so selfish and why i had no control over what happened to me or why the people were setting me up for failure from the beginning and we have like this whole group of people we also have to explain why new age people are doing piss 
to help anybody out of their misery, you're not doing anything. You'll say, yeah, I don't know, give them some good vibes. There's there the, why people are just literally starving and the poor are the poor and you're not helping anybody. At least the people at the church are out there, you know, donating money and doing all this good stuff. You hadn't even donated one dollar. I got no donations. I get no donations on my channel. Nobody's doing anything. I mean, let's be real. I mean, I'm just saying <laughs> like, you know, I mean, I'm just saying whatever, man, like the poor people, you, they starve under you. I mean, you're just not going to do anything for them. They'll be living off of bologna and chips for the rest of their lives under you guys. Like you, it, it's just, it's kind of just sad that, you know, you made up this very, I think, almost selfish belief system simply because you were just concerned with what was going on with you and nobody else. And you wanted to pretend that it didn't matter because we're all supposed to be one with the universe. Well, it matters. It matters. It matters to everybody. And you're not being, I don't think you're being genuine in what you're believing. I think you're saying that the universe is here to serve you and screw everybody else. I mean, basically is what you're saying. The universe is here to screw, just just make you, give you everything you want. And you know, my suffering, the, the, you have like this indifference towards my suffering. Just like the people out here, they have this indifference. They're saying it's my fault that they are oppressing me. That's their excuse. It's my fault they're oppressing me. It's my fault. Like the universe said that they should be happy and have families and have money and have good things. And I'm supposed to be here to make their lives better at my own expense basically so they're basically screwing me over trying to come up with an excuse for that and that's all you guys are really doing god is the only accountability out here god is the only accountability out here if it wasn't for them they would have screwed all of us over and got away with it if it wasn't for god and you're trying to say there's no accountability well, I think there is accountability. I actually think there should be accountability because the world is not going to hold these my people accountable. It's not going to hold them accountable. That's how it is. And you're trying to say there's no accountability. In a lot of ways, you're protecting the gang stalkers. You're saying that these horrible monsters are going to screw over everybody and get away with it is essentially what you're saying. And you want that to happen. You want that to happen. Like there's literally no consequence for all the terrible things people do. And I don't, I just don't agree with that. I think that, you know what, if they're going to do that, there's probably going to be some consequences for it. And I think maybe there should be, I'm not judging, you know, I'm just saying, you know what, uh, all the people who got a bad deal in life and they know it, and there was no real reason for that are going to disagree with you. But here's the thing. If you have an argument, if you can hold up, if you can, if your argument can hold up, people will take it more seriously. That's why I would like a, a new age person would never even debate me because they wouldn't even have the courage to even try because they would just be a destroyed. I mean, that's just how it is. And I think that if your argument, if you can't debate a person, if you cannot ch have be challenged in your beliefs, that's why I would say that, you know, Christianity, I'm not going to go as far as to say that, uh, you know, people wouldn't have some sort of argument that they can make against Christianity. But I would definitely say that compared to New Age philosophy, Christianity would literally just annihilate it. Like there would be just nothing. I'm just saying, especially if you lived in this community. But as and to be fair, I don't fully understand your belief system. I mean, I try to, but I don't. I mean, it's kind of just like, well, you're saying we're all gods. Well, the people out here are evil. Like they, yeah, sure, they have supernatural, so something supernatural with them. They use it as horribly as they possibly can like if they are connected to us they have weaponized that and they have weaponized all of this stuff from the start and we're trying to pretend they're they didn't we're here we're a spectacle to these people these people are wicked we were a spectacle to them they were sitting back using whatever supernatural ability they had to make our lives unpleasant and to oppress us the entire time for their benefit there's nothing good or friendly or decent about that and once we discovered they were doing that, once we discovered that they were oppressing us, keeping us poor, keeping us miserable, and just using whatever supernatural talents they had to just be horrible to us, once we realized that, they actually took some sort of defensive measure, what they considered defensive, or offensive measure, to literally bury us. And now you're basically saying that, I don't even know what you're saying, they're not evil, that I don't know, they're on a different frequency that's not good. I, I don't think, honestly, I don't think you guys would make it a minute in a debate against somebody who was a Christian who understood the Bible. I, just, I don't think you have it in you. Honestly, I just don't think you do. So here's the thing, I don't think, I have no reason to take your argument seriously. Your argument would be, you couldn't even argue with me. You can't defend your position. Uh, so there's no real reason why I would even take your position seriously if, if I'm to be fair. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there because that's kind of where my head is at on the whole new age stuff. 
And with that said, let me go ahead and close.